Good afternoon everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. In this conference I will present the paper called Network Coding and Dispersal Information with TCP for Content Delivery. This work has been developed by Francisco de Asís López Fuentes from the Department of Information Technology at Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana Guajimalpa. Ricardo Marcelin Jimenez from the Department of Electrical Engineering at Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana Iztapalapa and me Raul Antonio Ortega Vallejo from the Department of Information Technology at Universidad Autónoma Metropolitana Guajimalpa, Mexico City. Now, I will present the agenda for this presentation. First, I give an introduction about my talk. After this, I, will, I talk about, the, about our contribution in this work. In the third point, I introduce a concept about, about IDA, Information Dispersal Algorithm, and Network Coding. Then, I present our proposed architecture and give a detail explain how we combine network coding and IDA in a peer-to-peer -peer architecture using TCP protocol. I continue my presentation explaining the implementation and evaluation of our proposed architecture. I finished this talk with the, with the conclusion and future work. During the last year, the data exchange has increased dramatically. The person can exchange several content types such as video, text message, PDF documents, music, and photos. Especially at this time of a pandemic. For example, you are downloading the stream for this presentation right now. Motivation. Problems such as full tolerance limited performance or bandwidth limitation have emerged. Techniques such as the information dispersal algorithm, IDA, and network coding could be used to attend the previous issues. The IDA reach redundancy of the data. It also makes a better of use a better use of the storage capacities of the devices. On the other hand, network coding allows that the specific nodes combine the packets before forwarding. Network coding was introduced by Ashwell in his work Network Information Flow, presented in IEEE Transaction on Information Theory of the year 2000, while IDA was introduced by Rabin in his work called Efficient, Efficient Dispersal Information for Security, Load Balancing and Fault Tolerance, presented in the Journal of the ACM in the year 19, 1989. Contributions in the most of the words network coding and IDA have been used separately. This paper presents a collaborative architecture which combines network coding and IDA with TCP, Transport Control Protocol over 
hybrid peer-to-peer -peer network in order to evaluate the performance of both techniques during content delivery. Also, peer nodes help to improve the package transportation, while TCP allows reduce of descriptors to be sent to the intermediate nodes. I'm going to talk about the basic concept. To understand the AIDA algorithm, it's important to understand the information redundancy. For example, in this figure, the file f is distributed in n vectors or dispersals. A dispersal is an independent vector. All devices receive a different dispersal and any dispersal has a size of the number of 5 bytes over the value of the variable m, where the m variable is the threshold to produce the dispersals. How you can see the fault tolerance using the IDA is M minus M. Following the arithmetic operation for this case, it is possible to lose maximum two dispersal. This is a benefit of information redundancy. To recover the original file, any device requires to obtain the M dispersals. So all devices must to be most to share the dispersal receipt. This allows the use of peer-to-peer -peer networks to integrate a collaborative behavior. In this section, we're going to review the basic features of network coding. Network coding is an encoding technique used to increase the flow of packets without exceeding the link capacity. Using an element of finite file for linear operation, network coding can increase the throughput. To illustrate that, the first figure shows a butterfly network, where the nodes work to deliver a packet with a cost per unit of time, so the capacity of the channels is 1. The second figure shows the objective of send two packets inside the network. The source node S produce and send the packet V1 and the packet V2. When this arrive in the intermediate node 3, this node needs to decide which packet sent first to node 4. This meant that network required two times to forward the packet. This graph explains the typical forward. Sending more at the same time could be viable. Now in this part the network of the second figure is using network coding, where no three computers linear operations such as V1, XOR, V2, allowing to send both packets at the same time.
proposal model. This paper proposed an architecture where the IDA and network coding are combined. Pierce nodes are used as a way to improve the content delivered. This figure shows the topology proposed for lowering the parameters explored with the IDA. This graph uses two butterfly schemes to deploy network coding. The source node S is a storage place for the files to send. First, the node S sends a solicited file to fragmenting peer, or node PF. The node PF produces five dispersals after make a unicast for each dispersal. The node C1 and C2 do the network coding operation respectively. Then the nodes T1 and T2 relay the encoder message received. Observe that the requesting peer R3 receives the descriptor from the node PF directly and the nodes R create a thread to distribute the received descriptor to other peer. All peers nodes R collaborate with each other to distribute a descriptor in our architecture. That is to say, the peers work as relay node 2. Implementation and Evaluation Environment This prototype has been developed in the C programming using 14 containers and we perform 6 runs for each experiment. Experiments We transmitted the source vectors 1, 5, 10, 15 and 30 megabytes. Our first experiment evaluates a content delivery using IDA without network coding. In this case, the butterflies are not down, and the nodes R receive the descriptor directly from the nodes N. This graph represents the computational cost of IDA. For all experiments, we take two time variables. The label blue is the CPU time while the label purple is the real time to get an expectation of the possible waiting time for the users. The x-axis shows the time of in unit of seconds and the y-axis exposes the length of the vector in megabytes. For a file of 1 megabyte we obtain a time of 0.632844 seconds for the processor and a total time of 12.776190012 seconds of real time.
Now this graph exposes the cause of combining IDA and network coding. We can observe that the transmission of a 1 megabyte vector requires a processor time of 0.616914 seconds, while the total real timer is 6.3121485 seconds. Conclusions. The preliminary results show that network coding combined with IDA can reduce the delivery time for files of a small size. Our implementation has been done has been done using TCP. Retransmission was important for the execution. Furthermore, Pierce nodes allow this to work as relate nodes. Future work. As future work, we plan continuing our experiment evaluating larger, larger files to observe the behavior of our architecture. Architecture under this scenario. Protocols and security. We are working in the use of user datagram protocol to compare its performance with our implementation done in TCP. Data privacy can also be implemented by using advanced, advanced encryption standard algorithm. If you have any questions or are interested in the world, please contact us. Thank you.